So let's do an actual algorithm. Just breadth first search. Sort of the simplest algorithm you can think of in graphs. I've already outlined it several times. You start at some node. You look at all the nodes you can get to from there. You look at all the nodes you can get to from there. Keep going until you're done. So this is going to explore all of the vertices that are reachable from a node. Uh, the challenge, the one annoying thing about breadth first search and why this is not trivial, is that there can be some edges uh, that go sort of backwards, like that, to some previous layer. Uh, actually, that's not true, is it? <laughs> this can't happen. You see why? Because if that, if that edge existed, then from this node, you'd be able to get here. So in an undirected graph, that can't happen. In a directed graph, you could conceivably have a back edge like that. You have to realize, oh, that's a vertex I've already seen. I don't want to put it here, even though it's something I can reach from this node, because I've already been there. So you've got to worry about things like that. Uh, yeah, that's, I guess, the main thing to worry about. So our goal is to visit all the nodes, or vertices reachable from given node S. Uh, we want to achieve V plus E time. Uh, and the idea is to. Look at the nodes that are reachable uh, first in zero moves. <laughs> zero moves, that's S. Uh, then in one move, well, that's uh, everything you can reach from S in one step. That's adjacency of S. And then two moves, and three moves, and so on until we run out of graph. OK, but we need to be careful. to avoid uh, duplicates. We want to avoid revisiting vertices for a couple of reasons. One is if we didn't, we would spend infinite time, because we'd just go there and come back and go there and come back. As long as there's at least one cycle, you're going to keep going around the cycle forever and ever if you don't try to avoid duplicates. 